triple decker games and their game that is up uh, called Rat Race Escape Room. So tell us a little bit about your game. So it's a two to four player card management game in which um, players, they build heaps to escape the sewer. Uh, over on that board that you saw earlier, right over here. And, and it's, um, and okay, cool. You have to reach a height of 20 while keeping a stability that's in range, because if you build too hastily, you're going to build a heap that's not going to be able to stable enough for your rats to climb up to get out. There's 120 different trash items. There's not one in there that is the same. So there's a lot of variation in here. At the same time, each player gets their own rat leader, which gives you a different ability while you're playing the game so everyone's playing just a bit differently to keep it interesting while events are playing so there's a lot of different factors in here that kind of keep it competitive between different players they can be cooperative if they want to it's pretty much up to the table and how they want to go through with the game to be able to play it okay so let's take a look so we have the video no i'm good uh, we're actually just about to start another round oh okay so we just ended a round and we're about to uh, choose a new event, which I have right here. This is called the Rat Man. A rather smelly individual has been lurking around the sewers. Starting with the players, the player who drew this card, each player must roll the die. Five to six, you successfully scare away the Rat Man. Three to four, he gets away with a random item from your storage. One or two, he manage to, manages to steal the top item of your heap. So, I'm just gonna... Uh, he gets a random storage item, which is one it. thing, so which is a useless college uh -huh. degree. Yep. <laughs> and then, uh, I roll. you will roll. Yep. Great. Same thing happens to you. Wait, so do I just grab one? Yep, oh, yeah. at random. Cool. So that one would go back to the dump. Yeah. I've been playing this all, all, all weekend. It's the best. Right. Really? Yes. What do you like about yeah. it? There's a hundred and different ways, a hundred and one different ways to play. Um, you can do, there, no matter, even if you do the same exact rats or characters, there are 120 unique dick cards. Like, each card is different. There's no replay. Um, and it's just like, they can range from the most mundane of rounds to you will get rounds where people are dancing and holding their nose at the same time. <laughs> Because of card effects, and it's and people are throwing cards to be able to use it, and it's just it's so much fun, but it's also really serious to play. And no matter what you do, you could be at night happen, and you will just start the whole thing over again. And I've been playing it since since I found it yesterday. <laughs> to give you an example of just a couple of rounds that happened, uh, one game that went kind of out of hand. We had a round where two players got married to each other. Uh, one of them threw away the wedding ring, so everyone got mad. <laughs> so we ended up targeting him most of the game. Uh, he had a bomb in his heap that caused all of the blown up. And then an event happened that caused two other players' heaps to get shuffled together. And he ended up getting, uh, he ended up winning the game that way. And the other player got what they needed to win the game for their win condition as well. So, a lot of different interactions between the rat leaders, the cards, and the uh, adventure journal. Interesting.